everybody, it's the Red Banana 7 here, back with another Minecraft video. And today I have for you guys a bit of an idea video. Uh, it's more of a concept because I didn't get a, n a lot of it in there because it's a lot of command blocks and I have been short on time recently. But what it is is a binary to normal number converter in with mostly redstone stuff, a couple command blocks, you know, the works. So what binary is and if you don't know what it is I'll put up a little uh, thing down on the bottom of the screen here that explains it a little bit but what it does is it takes two to the power of whatever number it associates with that column and then adds all those together so the first column would be two to the power of zero which is one so if you just put a one in that column and then you enter that number it's gonna give you the three apparently because I didn't clear this As I was saying though, if you just put a 1 there and then press enter, it will just give you a 1. Now the next column is 2 to the power of 1, so, we'll, so that would be 2. So if you put, let's clear that off. So if you put like 1 for the second column and then 0 for the first column, that would be a 2 and a nothing, so it would give you a 2. So that's basically how this works and then you know three would be a one and oh I might I'm gonna clear that again I forgot to let it clear a three would be a one and a one which is to give you three which is why they gave me a three the first time because I already had a one in it um, yeah so I also uh, was planning on going up to allowing four digits so it would block off after the fourth digit I think I pressed that too fast. Anyway, the point is here that the number systems can store numbers. So that's, that's actually, that's a five, so I don't have that one in. But uh, yeah, so basically how that works is it stores in the series of ones and zeros in redstone pulses, and then see that was a four and then it displays it as a number by comparing what it has. So if you come back here, this is uh, the redstone that I'm gonna have to go over, but I'm gonna be back in a second for you guys because I have something I forgot about. So hold on, sorry about that. But uh, as I was saying here, the numbers get stored in this because the redstone repeater when this comes through it just this is just extending the signal so it's just getting a signal from here and that will power this first one long enough for it to be powered but it's locked off right now so me powering this wouldn't do anything because you know it's locked off and it can't change but if I powered this and this at the same time at the same time this will pick up a sand block and then so because that's a sticky piston it'll pick it up and that will turn this off for a second which allows a pulse to go through here allowing each one of these things to send on their signal for one more repeater so it extends whatever you had and saves the signal and then that falls back down and it shuts itself off so you just end up with the stored digit so if you notice I typed in this last time a 1 then 0 then 0 so a 0 just comes up and allows this to advance one more place while the 1 would allow it to advance and put a redstone signal in the first slot so hopefully you got what I was saying there and then from that point whenever there is a redstone signal here it tells this piston to extend which places the redstone block on a on or off and this basically just sets blocks over here I believe so this is saying okay the one four two to the power of two is set up right now so I'm gonna activate the four switch and so what that does is get rid of turns off this side and turns on this side that side spawns redstone blocks in the four slots on these numbers and 
a bedrock where everything or it gets it turns off this bedrock spawner thing the other side that's turned off it would normally spawn bedrock where these redstone blocks are but what that's doing is saying okay this is one two four so it's going to spawn the redstone block on four and then if that's the only thing turning this off it's going to extend this piston allow for a pulse that comes through later to come and activate this which displays the number so this is checking see over here this is one so it would only look for the first one and then if that's not there then this torch stays on this stays powered and the piston doesn't extend so when the pulse comes through which is just these changing into redstone blocks for a second then that can't get activated because it's only in the four slot which is activating the other redstone and not turning this off so even if it were one and one over again you could uh, not get this one on because this block would also be powering the line and the only thing that would turn on is this one which is number three because it's a one plus a another one which would be a two so it's two and one which is three so it displays three so basically it's just testing for what number is which based on this thing which stores the data now I don't know if this uh, storage system for storing pulses is a new idea it's probably not I'm sure somebody else has come up with this before but the point is that it can be used to store numbers so let me just clear that off and basically what that's doing is depowering this for long enough that all the signal can just run out to the end so it clears the number and then if I add a one let's break in another hole here you can see that it added a one there adding another one will push that along but it will also allow for that to give that a signal and then you know adding a zero would space those out one more but not put the signal here so basically that's how that works and had you know I had more time on my hands this would have gone up to 15 rather than 4 but the basic idea is still there so hopefully you learned something new about redstone or something today and uh, you know thank you guys for watching